Hey, what's up? It's Jason Yun. LBNOnlineFitness.com, ImprovementWarriorFitness.com. Uh, if you're new here, don't forget, check out the links down below. Got some awesome stuff for you, uh, challenges and all that good stuff, nutrition stuff. Uh, but otherwise, I am uh, making a video today. Wanted to go over some uh, awesome warm-up exercises, mobility exercises, uh, so we can wake up that body and get it ready for the actual workout. Okay, um, so remember, warm up is vital. You don't have time to work warm up. You don't have time to work out. So, need to uh, open up those body, open up that body, get it ready, get the blood flowing, get the mobility back in those joints. So, uh, just a couple exercises I got here. So, it's about seven or eight, um, and just a couple variations of different exercises. So. One of them is the uh, the bootstrapper. Okay, so on this one I've got four different variations. All right, um, excellent hip opener, knee opener, ankle, all that good stuff. Shoulder, upper back. Um, but basically, what you're going to do, you're going to stand, feet, hip width apart, toes pointed slightly out, whatever is comfortable for you. You're going to squat down, push the hips back, chest up, come all the way down, your weights on your heels the entire time. Hands come down and your uh, elbows are driving your knees out so those knees don't come in. And then you're going to push your butt up as high as you can. Feel that stretch. Come back down into that squat position. Push the hips back. Stand up. Chest is tall. Okay. And then you just repeat. Squat. Push. Each time you push, try and push it a little further. Squat back down. Push the hips back. Stand up. Okay, so that's version one of the bootstrapper. Version two, okay, is uh, you're going to squat down, and I also call this the super bootstrapper, but uh, you're going to squat down, take your hands underneath your, front of your toes or your shoes, and you're going to pull yourself down, okay, and again, your knees are blocking the, or elbows are blocking the knees so they don't come in, feel that stretch there, really pull, down, get the chest up, and then you're pushing up, feel that stretch there, come back down, and then just keep repeating this position, or this movement, okay? And obviously don't forget to coordinate your breath, okay? You should have your pull, try and exhale, okay? Exhale will try and we'll get you a little deeper, and then breathe in, push your butt up, exhale as you push your butt up again, okay? Uh, so that's bootstrapper two, bootstrapper three, is with a twist, okay? So you're gonna squat down, hands come on the mat, and then you're gonna twist open. So you're gonna exhale open, twisting behind you, looking behind you as far as you can. My right elbow is blocking my right knee. And I put that hand down, open, exhale, twisting as far as I can, stand back up. Squat back down, hand on the floor, repeat. Okay. Um, and then number four is, it's most like number one, but um, you're going to squat down, push your butt up in the air, squat back down, raise the arms overhead, push the hips back, stand up. Okay. So that's number four. Obviously, there's a progression of it. Just start with the most basic one, and then move up from there, as the as your or your client's uh, mobility gets a little better to perform the other ones. Okay. Um, then the next exercise is the hip drop or the groiner. Okay. I prefer to call it the hip drop. I've seen it called the groiner. But basically, you're going to get in top of the push-up position, hands under the shoulders, body as straight as you can. Okay, then you're going to bring one foot out as far up as you can, okay, with keeping this heel down. All right, then you're going to drop the hips as low as you can, feel that stretch there, and then come back, switch legs, drop the hips, feel that stretch, switch sides. Some people might only be able to put their foot here without getting that heel down, that's fine. Just drop them, okay? The more flexible, more mobile you get in this area, 
you'll be able to bring it higher and higher. Just drop the hips, switch sides from there. Okay. Um, and then next, there's a version, variation of that with the twist. So the hip drop with the twist. So you're going to bring the leg up, drop the hips, feel the stretch as deep as you can. And then once you're there, open up. Exhaling your hand up, try to get back as far as you can. Okay. Then switching sides, opening. So my right leg comes up, my right arm twists up, and I go that way. Okay. And you can also twist the opposite way, drop the hips, feel the stretch, open up. Okay. So a couple different variations there on the hip drop. Okay. Uh, next, next one is quadruped reach backs. Okay. Uh, I also call them thoracic bulldogs, but uh, this is uh, actually a corrective for, for shoulder mobility. Lucy! Quiet! Lucy! Shut up! It's video time! Shut up! Okay, so uh, quadruped reach back, it's a thing for, or it's a corrective for uh, shoulder mobility. Uh, but yeah, obviously it's very, very important, so um, it can be included for anybody. All right, so that upper back needs to be open, especially if, you have, if you're typing all day, your client's typing all day, bad posture, okay? This will really open up that upper back. Shoulder and chest, okay? So what it is, you're on all fours, you're going to sit back, so bring your butt back to your heels, okay? Drop your forearm to the floor, and this will lock your low back in place. Okay, so we don't want to be moving through the low back at all. Hand comes behind the head, drop your elbow slowly down to your knee, and then you're coming up, looking up at that elbow, pushing up, exhaling as you come up, and then coming back down, elbow to knee, coming back up, trying to push it open, push it up a little further each time. Okay, and then obviously switch sides. Okay. Um, as you get better, you can go to this position. You just want to make sure that you're moving nice and slow. The only thing moving is the upper back and the elbows. Okay. Uh, so that's quadruped reach back. And then the last thing is uh, during your warm up, you want to have some sort of single leg exercise. So that'll challenge their uh, their balance, coordination, and also stability. All right. Um, so. If Ones I like to use is just Warrior Three from Yoga. So they come down, reach, reach forward, okay, and they just stay in this position. All right, trying to get the chest, arms, and legs as parallel to the floor as they can, and they just hold that. Okay, obviously if they can't be parallel, they would be here, uh, but they're just balancing and reaching the hands, reaching the feet out as far in front of them as they can. Okay. Um, and obviously you would switch sides. Uh, the other one is just a Superman reach. Okay? So it's just here, reaching as far forward as they can, coming back, switching sides. Okay? Just back and forth, reach, exhaling as they reach. Okay? Uh, so I always want to challenge their balance and coordination. And then stiff like a deadlift, one leg, okay? coming straight down. Leg kicks back up, try and pull yourself up, hamstring and butt, weights on the heels. Okay, so that's basically it. That's a quick, or just uh, some quick exercises that you can add to your warm up to make it more powerful and get your body and your mind ready for your workout and get ready to crush it. So that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. Email me, Jason Yun at improvementwarriorfitness.com or just uh, leave a comment below. Like the video if you liked it. Help spread the word. Appreciate it if you do. And don't forget to subscribe. Got a lot more videos coming for you. Until next time, you stay strong, stay positive, be the improvement warrior. Have a great day.